Hello and good morning. So for today's live activity, I'm going to show you how to customize your icon for your application in Android development. So you have noticed that if you are developing an Android application using Android Studio, you will be given a default icon like this. Okay, this is the default icon. So what I'm going to show you for today's live activity is how to customize this icon and add a basic icon for your Android application identity. So having your own custom icon may help other users to differentiate between your application and another application. So first, you need to create an empty activity. Okay. Icon test. Okay. Just click finish and let the Gradle do its work. So uh, in the meantime, you can search for an icon. So let's say that you are searching for the book icon. Right, okay, you go to images here, choose a book icon. Okay, let's say that you find a good book icon. So if you want to search for a creative common, one that can be used on your own icon, then you may find one. Okay, choose one icon that you like. Okay, let's say that you choose this icon or this icon. Right, this icon, just save it. Okay, just save it. Okay, on this here. Book icon orange. So, next, so you should go to this website, uh, Roman Nuri. Android icon generator or Android asset generator. Android asset generator or launcher icon generator or Android asset studio. So you just choose the image. Okay, here. Yeah. And then the icon would be displayed. And you can adjust, okay, adjust the padding okay, on the icon. So, and then you can make sure that the icon can be shaped at circle or none or square. Okay, up to you. And then you can put a, an effect okay, like score, elevate or not. You can create a score, elevate or not. This is all up to you. is uh, nice okay after this you only have to click download okay, to download the launcher icon then you can uh, use this icon uh, to override the default icon in the rest folder so you go here inside your application go to the rest folder it show in the directory Okay, here is the rest folder. Okay, what you need to do is just extract it and then override all the file. So when you see this file, all the files over here would be overwritten, overridden. Right? Okay, I uh, launcher here. This is one launcher around and then launcher over here. Okay. All these icons are sized accordingly, right? Are sized accordingly, except HDPI for extra large uh, high density uh, devices. The MDPI is for medium density devices. HDPI is for high density uh, DPI devices. And then you can also go to main. Right, mean over here, you can see the web. Okay, the web is useful for, for Google Play Store. So if you are publishing your application to Google Play Store, then you might have to use uh, web. Okay, the web IRS uh, 512. Okay, next, you have to look into the manifest okay, for the launcher. Around icon, okay, you 
because you do not have round icon then you can remove the round icon okay and then you only have to go over here and just delete ic launcher icon over here and then you go to rest and then go to bitmap you go to ic launcher over here and then delete ic launcher.xml okay, this is actually uh, a more uh, scalable way to create a uh, uh, IC launcher icon. If you use a scalable vector graphics, so if you look over here, it's refer to you will refer to this drawable and then this describe uh, how the icon would look like uh, with mathematical formula. So this is the icon. So because we want to do the icon in a simpler way or in traditional way, so we need to delete this IC launcher. You just delete this reference to IC launcher, then go back to the Android manifest and add back the Android icon equals add mid-map IC launcher. And then just press play. And then uh, your application will launch and it will launch with your new uh, icon, uh, just like this, a new icon. So when you find your icon is not appropriate enough okay, or it's not to your liking, so you can always change it in uh, Android Asset Studio in not Roman numeric. And then you can change the color, you can set the color to transparent, background color okay, to be transparent okay, or white, off white. Okay, this is to ensure that your icon uh, are appropriate. Okay, just like this, okay, appropriate, and then re-download back. You need to do for the rest is just to okay, extract back the icon and then replace the icon. Okay, next, uh, what you need to do is just to use the build and then clean, okay, clean the project, run clean, and then replay back your project okay, to see the new icon. Right, this is the new icon. So I hope this would be useful to you. So for today's live activity, I've already shown you how to change the icon or customize the icon for your Android application. So be seeing you in the next lab segment.